bring this report to you from Penn State Brandywine, but this is not an isolated problem. Stress runs rampant in our society. From the youth to the older citizens of this country, stress comes part and parcel with everyday life. While stress sometimes brings us the perfect mix of tension and concentration that creates great work, in the extreme it may also harm us. Common stressors now for college youth are often academic, though the economy, politics, the election, and even the added stress of changing weather and sports games increase the already overflowing sink of worries for students. What is dangerous about stress is the varying effects it may inspire in its victims. Again, although some degree of stress is useful and enhances productivity, too much can cause several reactions. Both mental and physical health can be adversely affected. Stress in its more mild forms may manifest itself in sleeping difficulties or chronic headaches. I speak from personal experience on both effects. Disturbances in sleep may lead to mood changes. Stress also relates to how we function with other people and how we feel about ourselves. Depending on the types of stressors, depression may be an unfortunate product. Although this may sound pessimistic, there are ways we can deal with stress. This new service wishes to present the idea of a de-stress room to the Penn State Brandywine community. In honor of the Lee and I nature of the school, this establishment would be called the Zen Den. The stress room would make use of the following, nurses on call, a counselor, an artistic center, punching bags, and hopefully the ever-changing ideas brought by the innovative Zen Den visitors. The on-call nurses would be a new twist on stress relief as they would be able to help educate the students on the effects of their stress level. Blood pressure would be taken as an indicator of stress level. Students would have the option of visiting regularly in order to monitor their health. Unlike sports and other activities though, visiting the Zen Den would not require consistent attendance. It may be used as deemed necessary by the student. Nurses would not be the only representatives of health. Counselors would be available for students who feel that stressors at school and at home have become too much for them to handle on their own. Outside of the professionals hired to help the students, there will be other methods of relieving stress. For some students, a physical release of stress may be necessary. In this case, punching bags would be available for these students. As the counselors would be available at all times, they would be able to monitor the stressed students to make sure they don't take the stress out on each other. Also, paints, easels, and clay would be available for the students who feel they need to take a more artistic approach in relieving stress. Finishing this artistic endeavor, again, would not be enforced. Simply, the method would be used in the attempt to exercise the student's tension. In a world with an ever-shifting economy, students worry about money. This room would be free to use. Tuition costs would be able to supply the school with this luxury and would see how beneficial the change in students would be to the school's atmosphere, production of quality work, and reputation. The Zen then would operate along the same hours as the Vira Library. So many students have to work and take classes at all times of the day. The Zen Den should be available to all students of this campus. So many other activities require time that some students are just incapable of giving. This room is meant to relieve stress and will therefore be available to any walk-ins. The campus can look like a scary place to someone who is consistently stressed. Also, if the stress level exceeds the control of the student, the Zen Den will be there to refer the student to a specialist. The campus cares about the students. This innovation is simply an extension of that care. If it is all possible to open the eyes of a student so that he or she may enjoy everything the campus has to offer, then we'd be doing something right. The campus is beautiful, but if one is too stressed to open their eyes to see it, they will miss out. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to suggest that the campus make use of this innovation. Through my own research, I have not found another campus that offers this program. Some may offer health care to its students, but it is usually at a price. Let's change the campus by first changing the students. As we read in Innovation Nation, innovators need an accepting and diverse location. This campus has the ability to make it even more welcoming. Let's be the first step in making our world more innovative.